If your printer does not pick up or feed paper, you might receive a tray empty or open error message even when paper is loaded in the input tray. Poor paper quality or improperly loaded paper can cause the printer to not pick or feed paper. Slide out the input tray. Remove all paper from the input tray. Check for obstructions inside the input tray. You can use a flashlight to make sure no obstructions remain. Examine the condition of the paper you removed from the paper tray. Remove any bent, wrinkled, or torn paper from the stack. Make sure there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets in the stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type, and then align the stack by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Confirm the size and type of paper loaded, and then touch OK. Try to print a document. If the error persists, continue to the next step. Dust and debris on the paper feed rollers can cause paper feed issues. Cleaning the rollers can help resolve and prevent these issues. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean, lint-free cloth, cotton swabs, distilled, filtered, or bottled water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Power off the printer. Go to the rear. Disconnect the power cord and any other attached cables. You must disconnect the power cord before reaching inside the printer to avoid risk of injuries or electric shock. Disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Return to the front. Open the ink cartridge access door. Dampen a lint-free cloth with water. Squeeze the cloth until it no longer drips water. Clean the paper feed rollers with the cloth to remove any buildup or debris. Rotate each roller as you finish cleaning a section to clean the entire roller. Close the ink cartridge access door. Go to the rear. Push in the two tabs on the rear access door simultaneously to open it. Push in the two tabs on the paper path cover simultaneously and pull it towards you to remove it. With the cloth still damp, clean the paper path cover rollers to remove any buildup or debris. Rotate each roller as you finish cleaning a section to clean the entire roller. Clean the rear rollers with the dampened cloth. Rotate each roller as you finish cleaning the section to clean the entire roller. Dampen a cotton swab with water. Remove any excess water with a lint-free cloth. Locate the gray pick roller in the back of the printer. Clean the roller with the swab to remove any buildup or debris. Rotate the roller upwards as you finish cleaning a section to clean the entire roller. Allow the rollers to dry for 10 minutes. Insert the paper path cover back into the printer. Close the rear door by pushing it forward until the two tabs snap into place. Plug the power cord back into a wall outlet. Reconnect the other end of the power cord to the printer and then reconnect any other previously connected cables. Return to the front. Power on the printer. Try to print a document again. If there is still an error on the printer, continue to the next step. Resetting the printer can help resolve printer errors. Go to the rear. With the printer powered on, disconnect the power cord and any other cables. Unplug the other end of the power cord from the power source. Wait at least 60 seconds. Plug the power cord into a wall outlet. Reconnect the other end of the power cord to the printer and then reconnect any other cables. Return to the front. The printer should power on automatically. If it does not, press the power button. Try to print a document again. If there is still an error on the printer, continue to the next step. If you have completed all the steps and are still experiencing issues, the printer might need to be serviced. Your options for service might vary depending on how long you have owned the printer and what country you live in. Contact HP to find out the support options for your printer.